sommet, car ton bras s'est porté l'épée, il s'est porté la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée, tes plus brillants exploits. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Thank you, David Pangawish, who is Ojibwe from the Sagamok First Nation, and he is Bear Clan. We acknowledge that our convocation ceremony today is taking place on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and other Indigenous peoples who have lived on this land over time. Class of 2020, it's my pleasure to join your family, friends, and the George Brown community in celebrating your achievement today. As Chancellor of George Brown College, my role is to act as an ambassador and advocate for our students and graduates, to tell the world about the amazing things you're doing and the impact you're having on our community. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Noella, I don't feel so amazing right now. And how am I supposed to make an impact in the middle of a pandemic? It's true that you are graduating at a time of great uncertainty and change. And I know how scary and overwhelming this can be. But we can't control the challenges that life sends our way. All we can control is how we respond to them. 
The COVID crisis has forced us out of our comfort zone. It has shown us that companies and individuals that are adaptable, flexible, and innovative excel in a time of turbulence and great change. Excellent and invaluable lessons for young people just starting out in their careers. And what I've discovered in my own life is that when times get tough, the best way to help yourself is by helping others. I'd like to share a little bit of my personal history as I hope it will resonate with many graduates and families listening today. I came to Canada alone at the age of 17 as a young immigrant from India looking for new opportunities. At first I only intended to stay for a short time, make some money and return home. But I fell in love with this beautiful country and decided to stay. I worked during the day and attended classes at night to earn a college diploma and then a university degree until I eventually landed in law school. My mother was adamant that all of her children get a post-secondary education, especially her girls. Since then, I've seen the many ways that having an education opens doors to opportunity, both professionally and personally. Not only has it allowed me to establish a rewarding career, it has more importantly provided me with many tools that enable me to give back to my community. For me, this has meant volunteering with a wide range of organizations, from the George Brown College Foundation, to the Children's Aid Foundation of Canada, to UNICEF Canada. My work with these charities has kept me grounded and made me realize how fortunate I am and spurred me on to want to give more of my time, money and efforts. The focus away from myself is the gift that being involved in community work gave me, made me more sensitive and more humble, traits that sadly lawyers are not known for. Today I want you to consider how you can take what you've learned at George Brown and use it to make your community stronger and a better place because you are there. Think about how much you've grown and changed during your time at college. How much you've learned not only about your area of study, but about yourself as a person and the world around you. How can you apply this knowledge to help others and bring about positive change? Maybe you are the first in your family to obtain a college credential. If so, you might feel there is an even higher onus on you to use what you have learned to give back to help others. Don't be one of those selfish people that want to shut the door behind them. This world appears to be becoming a meaner place every day. It's up to you to push back on that meanness. You don't have to accept it. Instead, reach back, way back, and help those behind you make it through. While 2020 has been an extremely turbulent year, it has also shown us what it looks like when people come together and advocate for social change. Think about the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement and the hundreds of thousands of people taking a stand against systemic anti-black racism. Take advantage of the pandemic pause to evaluate, to take stock of what it is you are about. What will make you proud? Do what will matter to you. You have to decide what kind of a world you want to live in. And once you decide, your actions should reflect your choice. There are many possible futures for each one of you graduating today. Your actions from this day onwards will determine what that future will be. So choose your path and your actions thoughtfully. So for example, if you decide you want to live in a world that is free of racism, where people of color and white folk are treated equally, how will your actions and the way you live your life reflect this choice and help shape that world? You might be overwhelmed and say you are no, no Gandhi, nor a Martin Luther King, nor a Nelson Mandela. But remember, 
If thousands of people did not march with those great leaders, they would have had zero impact on this world. It took thousands of ordinary people like you and me who believed in the cause to take action, to take a stand, to take a risk to follow them. That's how you get meaningful and lasting change. Community is the key. There are so many ways to give back, and I know you'll find community involvement to be incredibly rewarding. Class of 2020, I'm incredibly proud of all you have accomplished. There is so much potential in this graduating class, and I can't wait to see and celebrate when each one of you makes your mark on our community. Best of luck to you all. Thank you. George Brown, class of 2020, you gained certain victory in uncertain times. Congratulations. I'm Mike Pinball Clemens, and I was a history-making coach, first black head coach to win the Great Cup. But I'm better known for my efforts on the field. That's why I got the name Pinball. I ran for more yards than any player in pro football history, any player in the CFL, NFL, any professional football league. But you know, I tried to think about what was the greatest value I had. I was never the biggest, strongest, or fastest guy on the field. My greatest strength was getting back up. Yeah, I was tackled over 2,000 times, and every time I got back up. Just that simple. You know, during this new normal, I'm gonna ask you to get back up. After the pandemic, Again, get back up. After your successes, get back up. And amidst your challenges, get back up. I'm gonna ask you as well to be positive, to ask questions and be kind, give back, because it makes us better and it brings us together. One of my favorite sayings is we rise by lifting others. So build bridges, not fences. Give more than you get. And always remember, no excuses, no regrets. Class of 2020, you are phenomenal. Say it with me. Phenomenal. Congratulations. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. As I know many of you may be joining from different parts of the world, Class of 2020, it's my honor to join your families, friends, and faculty in celebrating your achievements today. Congratulations to each of you. While this certainly isn't a typical convocation ceremony, and probably not what you pictured when you imagined your graduation from college, I'm grateful that we can be together virtually. As a graduating class, you faced hurdles that no one could have anticipated. One day you were in class or completing your field placements. The next, a pandemic was declared and we were all asked to stay home to keep our communities safe. I know this sudden shift was disruptive and challenging. Not only did you have to adapt very quickly to remote learning, you did so while juggling competing priorities like child and family care, financial concerns, and the stress of living through a global health crisis. But somehow, you found a way to make it work. When life threw you a curveball, you didn't give up. Instead, you tapped into your resilience, that inner strength that allows us to recover quickly from adversity. You adopted new technologies, new ways of communicating, and most importantly, a new mindset. While the end of your college education came with unprecedented challenges, you overcame all of them and made it to graduation. You should be very proud of this achievement, just as I am proud of each and every one of you. The adaptability and resilience you've demonstrated this year will benefit you throughout your life and your career, no matter what field you're entering. If the past several months have taught us anything, it's that the world can change quickly and without warning. And it should be no surprise that we're likely to see even more changes in how we live, learn and work in the months and years ahead. 
all of us need to be ready to adapt and pivot when the next curveball arrives because there will always be another surprise on the horizon. Fortunately, as a George Brown graduate, you're no stranger to adapting to change. Throughout your time with us, you've had many opportunities to step outside your comfort zone and embrace change. Just think of all the new people, ideas, tools and technologies you've encountered and all the ways you've grown as a result. You're also learning how to take initiative. You may have done this while overseeing a project or leading a team in class or during an experiential learning opportunity. Perhaps you gained entrepreneurship experience through Start GBC or Enactus or found your voice in groups like the Student Leadership Academy or Student Association. These experiences and skills will be essential on the road ahead because our rapidly changing world needs self-starters. It needs people who constantly ask themselves, how can I do things better, faster or more effectively? And how can I make a difference? Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen George Brown alumni apply their adaptability, resilience and initiative in countless ways. For some, this meant pivoting their businesses or finding creative solutions to unprecedented challenges. I'm thinking of fashion graduates like wedding dress designer Christopher Paniel and swimwear designer Betsy Campos, who pivoted to mask making when the need arose in our community. Or Diana Coatsworth, who started a volunteer sewing army to provide masks, surgical caps and hospital gowns to healthcare workers. We've also seen many graduates from our Centre for Hospitality and Culinary Arts launch or expand meal delivery services during the pandemic, meeting the growing need for healthy, fresh meals at home. For instance, Brian Cheng and Alana Fleischer, who owned The Edible Story, shifted their focus from event catering and workshops to delivering beautiful boxed meals. Daniel Genetis expanded his company, eFresh Meals, to serve all of British Columbia, as well as Ontario. Then there's our Start GBC 2020 Student Entrepreneur of the Year, Kenzie Osborne, who launched an audio recipe app called Drizzle to help people learn how to cook in a convenient, hands-free way while they were stuck at home. And that's just the beginning. Many George Brown graduates have used their skills to keep our communities safe and informed during the pandemic. Christopher Delage, a graduate of our American Sign Language English Interpreter Program, was hailed as a rock star by Ontario Premier Doug Ford for his interpretation work during daily media briefings. A community worker graduate named Butch was featured in CBC's Frontline Heroes series for his impact as a shelter worker. Even when Butch was diagnosed with COVID-19 himself, it only drove him to work harder to protect the city's homeless population. And then, of course, there are the countless nurses, personal support workers, early childhood educators, construction workers, IT professionals, business owners, and more who have provided essential services to our community. George Brown graduates have truly been on the front lines throughout the pandemic, keeping our city running. Class of 2020, today you're joining a long legacy of distinguished graduates who are making an impact on their communities. I hope their stories will inspire you to stay resilient, adaptable and driven as you move forward. Ask yourself, what will your story be? How will you use your George Brown education to make a difference? As you set off on your journey, I encourage you to keep building the networks you've established at George Brown. While you may not be able to meet for a coffee right now, there are countless ways to stay connected with classmates, faculty and staff and to establish new professional contacts. Why not have that coffee via video chat? Join a networking group online or be a self-starter and create one yourself. As a graduate of George Brown, you also have access to many support services through our Alumni Relations Office and GB Careers, both of which are operating online. Remember that you'll always be part of the George Brown family. Perhaps we'll see you again if you choose to pursue an additional credential or a specialization in the future. Lifelong learning will help you keep your knowledge fresh and your skills sharp 
and that's especially important as the pace of change speeds up. Of course, ongoing learning is just one of many ways graduates maintain the relationship with George Brown. Once you've established yourself, you may consider joining a program advisory committee, hosting a student for a field placement, partnering with us on applied research, or hiring a graduate. There are so many ways to stay connected and we hope you'll keep in touch. Class of 2020, I know this is not an easy time to be graduating. And if you're feeling anxious about what comes next, you're not alone. Much of the world is right there with you. But each one of you is graduating with the knowledge and skills to make an impact on your field and your community and the resilience to get through these challenging times. Your graduation today is proof that you have what it takes. So keep building your skills, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep going. I wish you all the best on the journey ahead. Congratulations.